Well, I have. I did have the privilege of being in that exact situation before, and I took a lot of years off from the biz to raise my family, but when I came back to work, one of the first things I got cast in was a stage reading for Equity Library Theater, and it was directed by a woman. She was wonderful. And the cast was comprised exclusively of six women in their 40s and 50s. And it was such a wonderful experience. It was so like creative and empowering and nurturing. And I remember thinking that I felt really lucky that my first vehicle back was this, um, you know, it wasn't a big deal because we just had several rehearsals and then one stage reading performance. But, you know, that was my first experience back in what can be sometimes a cutthroat and, and uh, competitive business. Because I think women really can raise each other up and I especially love working with women directors. They're a unique, powerful breed of people, and Beth Wolf is no exception. I've never actually worked on a show that was all women. Obviously, as a female director, I've been at the helm of a lot of productions, but uh, it's really been exciting to be in a room that is just women. Our stage manager is also a woman, the wonderful Samantha Tink, and so we get to come to rehearsal every night with four women in the room who we get to talk about our day, we get to work together, and it's been really exciting to have that energy in the room. It is different than having a room full of men. In college we did a play called Ladies at the Alamo and there was five women in the show and a woman director and uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, we had one extracurricular activity that we did which fortunately I was the fifth wheel in the show so I didn't partake but the other four women in the show teamed up and did uh, mud wrestling. <laughs> it was really funny uh, and I was so glad that um, my character was always the one that balanced things out between everybody, so it didn't make sense for me to do it.